Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my next Let's Play, which is going to be Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. And that's right, we are finally doing Crash 4. The Crash 4. No, not Crash 4. We're not talking about that other Crash 4 guy over there. We're talking about the Crash 4. The original Crash 4! Okay, if you really want to get more particular, or if you really want to get more, y you know, pedantic about it, I guess you could theoretically say Crash Team Racing would be Crash 4, but not in this channel. Also, if you think that we might, because, you know, if you guys enjoyed my Crash Let's Plays from all those years ago, which is something I kind of hail pretty proudly about, I kind of think they're probably some of my best content on this channel. You're probably going to think, well, now that, you know, my Let's Play style is a bit different these days, I'm more capable of just letting things kind of play out and letting cutscenes just kind of happen. Well, yeah, I'll let this one go. But if you think I'm going to change because it's the future me and not the past me, you think I'm not going to skip those fucking Cortex logs that pop up every... Every time you basically get a crystal and beat a mission, you'd be sorely mistaken. You see, there's one thing... No, there's... There's multiple things that I will never pretty much change from. I don't even know if I'm even... <laughs> it's a bad joke. I don't... All right, fine. Gotta get some balls. There's two things on this planet that never change with me. That's the ability to skip Cortex slash character interaction things from Crash Bandicoot. I always skip them. And the other one is being misogynistic. So if I was to ever change one of them, if any one of those was to ever disappear, it'd probably be the first one first. <laughs> By the way, that's just a joke. I have to I have to say that, I guess, nowadays, because YouTube doesn't apparently like jokes anymore, so I'm keeping that intact. I know that I've been talking about that ever since, like, the Ape Escape playthrough. The fuck is wrong with Cortex's hands? What the fuck? I look over and his goddamn hands are, like, all... Like, his fingers are, like, spread out way too damn far, and they're way too skinny and scrawny looking. And then fat on the end, and it's like, ugh. That's an ugly looking ass fucking model. Goddamn... I mean, you know, I grew up with this game, so, you know, I never really thought the models were ugly, but now I look at it, it's like, Jesus Christ, okay, Cortex really does have some ugliness to him. At least, at least, Uka Uka looks relatively okay, if we're talking about, you know, going from PS1 to, you know, PS2 and GameCube and all that now. And Xbox, because I think this game's also on Xbox. I don't have the Xbox version, though, so. I only have the PS2 version. We, When I grew up, we had the GameCube version, which we still do technically have, but I'm pretty sure my mom still relatively likes the game, so I don't think she'll ever just want to give it away to me, particularly. Also, Aku Aku looks a bit different, that's for sure. Um, love the PNG cloud. <laughs> But no, if you think for any reason that I hate this game at all, well, no, I don't. It, there are particular sections that I don't like, but I really don't hate the game. And for those that may have thought to themselves, you know, that making this game win the polls would make me play a game that would make me... Well, yeah, I'm probably going to get pissed off and rage at a few things. Of course, that's just going to happen. If for some reason, maybe that's why it might have won the poll vote. Uh, I hate to upset you, but... This is not going to be the type of game that I'm just going to hate on and just be angry with. But then again, I assume that most of the people that voted probably understand and enjoy my content enough to know that, you know, I most likely would like this game a little bit still. Even nowadays. You know, even nowadays I still like it. If I sound a bit different, it's because I got hit with a hell of a sickness, um, like Saturday, like last Saturday. And... Yeah, it sucked. I woke up with a sore throat and then just hated it for that day. And then it went away the day after, but I was just severely tired. And then 
come Monday I worked and well, we didn't work for very long but even then I still came home and just basically died and then from tiredness and then it's just yeah I just sound a bit more nasally now I guess also this game has some pretty legendary voice actors I don't remember all of them I know Arlie Army is one of them um, you know he's the drill sergeant type sounding guy you'll, you'll know I think he's the first world mask I think I believe I don't remember but anyway I do want to say real quick for those that did vote in the poll thank you of course uh, I appreciate it and I love doing polls I think they're a lot of fun and to give kind of an idea of what happened so there was only like so many votes it was like five um, and I think I had like Ape Escape 2 Crash Wrath of Cortex Banjo Kazooie I think like Vanquish and then maybe Spyro you're the Dragonfly I don't remember um, but anyway, Crash Force 1, and that's the Let's Play I'm doing now, because I asked, you know, which Let's Play do you guys want to see me do next, and everybody, most everybody, 75% of you voted for Crash Wrath of Cortex, which I might every once in a while say 4 on accident, but I'll try to not say 4 to, I don't want to get confused. Also, there's Tana in the background, which is pretty cool, and even a racing trophy, which I think is kind of neat, and a bitten in Wumpa fruit, so, yeah. Banjo-Kazooie... One, also, this image is just... <laughs> this fucking image. <laughs> it's incredibly goofy looking. Um, so, Banjo-Kazooie got second place uh, with only one vote. And I'll say this. the Because Banjo-Kazooie got only just the one vote and still won second place, I plan on doing Banjo-Kazooie still either after I get done with Crash or during while I play Crash. Let, let's say, for instance, Crash gets to the point where I start getting pretty damn upset. Uh, then I'll just be like, ah, I kind of want to play Banjo today. Let's just play some Banjo. I do plan on 100%ing Banjo-Kazooie, though, at the very least. That is kind of my plan, even though I hate Click Clock Woods and even though nowadays I'm not a big fan of 100%ing Banjo-Kazooie, but I'll do it for you guys. And my own pride. That also kind of plays in a big factor. Yeah, fuck these. I don't care enough. Uh, so... Yeah, I kind of want to play Crash. Yeah. I'll do Banjo. Uh, and then for this game, we're going to try to 100% the best we can. That is my plan, is to actively 100% it. Oh yeah, it's just the rock guy. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so... By 100%, I basically mean, like, get all the crystals. Of course, you're going to have to if you want to beat the game. And get all the gems. I, I'd like to get all the gems, all the color gems, and all that kind of fun stuff. And on top of that, the plan is to potentially get all the relics, but not necessarily get platinum relics. So I don't want to hear anybody bitching and <laughs> cussing me out about the relics. At least, please don't, unless you're, you know, being sarcastic or something. But just saying, you know, just... Yeah, don't... Don't get too upset about the relic thing, because, I don't know, I've always kind of not been a big fan of the relics, uh, personally speaking, but I'll I'll do them. Some of them might, might be done offline if, say, for some reason I'm struggling to get them on, you know, while recording, then I'll probably just do it, like, off recording or something at some point, but I'll try my best to do them while recording, and if anything, I could just save some of the relics toward the end. I'll probably do them, like, interspersed between levels and such, so... Basically, let's say, like, we have some of those pretty fun vehicle levels, because Crash typically does have some pretty fun vehicle levels from time to time. Uh, so let's say we're doing one of those, right? And I'd just be like, alright, you know, let's just go back and just get the relic now, and then you guys can see me get the relic right there in person. So that's how that will pretty much go. Now, for anybody that is new to Crash then where the hell have you been? But no, uh, for real, if you're new to Crash, basically you collect Wumper Fruit, you collect 100, you get a life. It doesn't really do anything more than that, you just get a life. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you have a certain amount of boxes you can collect. When you collect boxes, you if you collect all of them, you get a gem, and that just goes toward your 100%. They're optional, you don't have to collect them. Um, the mask guy following me around, you know, he has, two, he has three levels of masks that you can contain. You can get the... The one mask which protects you once, so if you get hit, it protects you. It does not protect you from fall damage. Well, not fall damage, but it does not protect you from pits. So if you fall down or off a ledge or into a pit, well, then you're screwed. That sort of thing. Uh, 
you get a second Aku, and then you get two hits for free <coughs> without dying. And then on top of that, you have the third hit, or the third Aku, which basically gives you invincibility. And in this game, since this game's a bit more budgety feeling, uh, it has that issue where it... A lot of animations just don't, like... There's not a lot of animations for certain things, so some of those are some of those are missing. There's a lot of issues, and also it's crashes pants on backwards. <coughs> Sorry, that'll hopefully be the one time I'll do that. I kind of turn away from the mic to do that, but <coughs> something was in my throat. I apologize, but this is what happens when you get sick, and I know this is pretty common for me at this point. But you know, it's kind of hard not to have that happen. Uh, also, you can collect lives. Boxes usually give you one per fruit you can collect, that kind of thing, until you eventually get to 100. You only get up to like 99 lives, yada yada yada. Basic stuff, basic platformer stuff. You pretty much get the idea. Well, it's just time trial things. You just come back and do time trials, and there you go. Yeah, Crash is fucking cold. Wear a goddamn shirt, dumbass. Well, to be fair, you know, if you count it, which I don't, uh, Crash does eventually get tattoos. <laughs> that's something on his, his body he eventually wears, so that's something to look forward to. I uh, probably one day would like to do a let's play of that, but I, I don't know if that I don't know if it will happen, but you know it'd be kinda neat. Um something about this though, this area that I'm in, this is a death route. Basically what it is is you're not allowed to die before you get here. If you die in the death route, that's different, then I guess it becomes a life route because I guess you go back to living, maybe. Don't worry about these boxes over here, they'll blow up when we get to the nitro explodey box that just explodes all the nitro, so no need to worry about that. Also, Akus do respawn, which is insane. That's something a lot of Crash games don't tend to do, is they don't tend to respawn um, the Akus. The boxes themselves. Typically, it's just like, if you've already gotten the Aku once, then you're pretty much good. Also, for bonus stages, which is that thing with a question mark, if you've gotten to a bonus stage, it usually acts as a checkpoint. However, in this game, it kind of sometimes does, and sometimes doesn't, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, as it stands right now, it doesn't. Yeah. Also, yeah, crystals are used for basically just beating the game. There's only 25 levels. And if I remember correctly, I think there's only just the 25. Because I know Crash 3 had 31, but the extra 6 were uh, for optional stuff. You had to get relics to get those. And I don't remember Crash Wrath having more than the normal 25, but it's been a while since I've actually 100% the game, so... Actually, I I think I've gotten all the gems and crystals before, but I've never gotten all the relics before. I'm not sure if that technically constitutes as 100% with the relics, but I'll still try to go get them anyway. And in order to get the relics, you're pretty much going to have to have the running speed if you're playing a regular level. If you're playing like a ground level, you're pretty much you're going to have to have the the ground speed ability, which is an upgrade. And that's not something new to Crash, by any means. Upgrades are not anything new. They started since Crash 3, and then... I think Huge Adventure came out before... Wrath, if I'm not mistaken. I assume somebody might know, but I don't know. Well, the internet does. Um, yeah, this is actually, surprisingly enough, it's kind of weird how they send you into a level that gives you the ability to play a vehicle section this, this fast. Now, that's not necessarily anything new to Crash, but it just feels kind of crazy how this is the one that they go for first. And this is a, like, because when you look at Crash 3, you have the water level. That's the first level you, that's the second level of the game is a, is a fucking water level. And it kind of makes you just, you know, upset and you're like, ah. I mean, at least you have the option to pick which of the five levels you want to do, but... It still just kind of feels like, you know, nah, if you're if you're the same type of guy like I am, where you just do things in order, it kind of fucks with you. It's like, I don't want to do the water level. But they decided to go for this level instead, and I like that. But yeah, back to Huge Adventure, so I, Huge Adventure had upgrades as well. Basically the normal, like, double jump, I think, Super Slam, and then Entrance added, like, a new type of slide ability. Which is unfortunate because, I mean, I can play Entranced, I have a physical copy of it, 
It's just that the unfortunate part is if I wanted to play it physically on my DS, which I don't have a Game Boy, um, I would be out of the L button because my L button doesn't work. So, yeah, in order to do that specific super slide ability, I would have to play on my other ability to play it on, which is a Retron thing that allows me to play Game Boy games with HDMI. Not that they themselves are HD, but it's HDMI. Also, if you hear some fan blowing in the background, that's just my PS2. I, I don't know if it's going to bother anybody. I could put it on the ground. Anything real fast. I don't, I don't want to mess anything up, but... Uh, also, this phone bitch does tend to get kind of hot. Which scares the shit out of me, especially since I have carpet. So I'll put it down there. I, I hope it didn't get annoying with it blowing in... You know, blowing chunks into the fucking microphone. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I also cuss a lot, a little too much. I have this issue where, you know, it's just a habit of, of, of cussing. You know, some people would argue that that's a sign of low IQ. And you know what? God damn it, they're, they're right. They're goddamn right. I don't know. I have room temp IQ, and it's actually room temp right now. Also, speaking of levels I fucking actually despise, uh, roller levels. Now, my brother would argue probably up and down that roller levels are actually pretty fun, and you know what? He's not wrong. They can be fun. And that's the key word. <laughs> they can be. This one's all right. Surprisingly enough, Wrath of Cortex, in my opinion, has a better start than 3. However, it also has a lot of things that suck more than three, and you'll see what I mean when I see it, when I get to them. Now, I don't mean to say that Wrath of Cortex sucks. That's not what I'm trying to get at, and I will probably never say that. Um, at least seriously, won't say that because it's just not true. Wrath of Cortex does not suck. It's actually pretty all right for a game. I just don't know exactly where all the hatred comes from. I guess, if anything, it's probably the models. It's probably somewhat of the weird controls that kind of sometimes feel a bit off, I guess. I would... Uh, I fell off. I would put it up to, most likely, it's probably the l levels that I think maybe make people more angry, more susceptible to going Hulk. Also, for those that are wondering what the hell's over here, well... There's that, I died. Wait, what the... What? Wait. How did that happen? Why did I not die? I ran into it. I don't know what the hell that was. Hmm. I don't know. Also, you want to know something weird? The weird thing is... My PS2 typically has a problem where... It doesn't like to load things up, right? Oh, that gives me another reason to talk about the Xbox version, I guess. I, I've heard that the Xbox version loads faster for the game in terms of loading times. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know which one loads faster or not. I just had the PS2 one. I don't really carry the way. Uh, but anyway, my PS2 tends to have trouble, like, getting games to work. I usually have to blow into it, you know, and sometimes uh, use, like, peroxide or whatever, some type of alcohol thing in it to kind of make it you know, on the laser to just, you know, get a little bit tipsy and drunk. So that way it can work. Because <laughs> I guess he just works better when he's drunk. Uh, but yeah, like, sometimes I have to do that. And for some reason, it just didn't it work just fine today. Also, I'm playing with AV cables, and I'm using Elgato to record again. However, I did stretch it, so hopefully quality-wise it looks fine. Although, to be fair, I assume most people probably are going to hate the quality uh most of the people that are probably just not here for me but they're here to watch the game might potentially be more upset with just the game <laughs> what was over here again i don't remember i think this was just a shortcut no nah, yeah i assume the reason i didn't die the first time was because i had naku hold on What the fuck? Oh, okay, you know... Okay, come on, man. 
But anyway, yeah, hopefully graphically everything looks fine. Hopefully it doesn't look too dark, doesn't look too blurry. I turned up the brightness like a, like a, t like a hair. Because my Elgato has this issue where the brightness is always just so fucking low. It's always been like that, I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, just... I'm, I'm trying a few things that are a bit new, and I'm hoping that they'll work. Now, will I find out that these things work? Uh, yeah, I'll probably check them after this video, but, you know, knowing me, I'm probably going to want to record much more than just one video today. I've already recorded today, actually, funny enough. I recorded six episodes of Dead Space 2 for my Hardcorean Guides channel, so I'd check that out in the description. If you like watching me play games on hard and showing people how to potentially beat them my way, then that's one way to do it. I say my way, but I usually sometimes use other people's videos. Also, funny enough, um, Crash 4 came out and it had so many freaking boxes in it that it became ridiculous, right? Well, Crash Wrath of Cortex also has that too. People think that this game has a lot of a lot of crates. Well, no, God damn it! Sorry, I've been getting pretty fucking ragey today. Um, I was playing Demon Souls earlier, so that kind of comes into play. Uh, imagine doing a let's play of that. Jesus Christ! I like Demon Souls, but man, does it get hard sometimes? Piss annoying sometimes. You know what I mean, right? You know the 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 old hero. I think his name was. You guys know what I'm talking about. The run back to him. Yeah, fuck that area. Fuck that. Fuck that level. <laughs> fuck the swamp levels too. Fuck. Fuck souls. <laughs> anyway, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, there's another game that actually has like a shit ton of boxes that people probably never played. Yeah, there's actually another Crash game out there that has a shit ton of boxes that I guarantee most people probably haven't really played yet. And this is gonna send people for a loop. It's actually Crash of the Titans for the DS. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you guys know? Because I completely forgot. I had the game when I was a kid, but I didn't give a fuck about it. I hated it. Now that I'm older, I kind of actually appreciate the game a little bit more. I actually like the game a bit more. I've actually come around to Crash of the Titans over the years way more than I have when I was a kid. I, I played it for consoles first and, you know, thought it was okay. <coughs> Sorry. Thought it was like a weird direction, but I thought it was alright. I didn't think it was too bad. After that, you know, I had played it. I keep doing that. I keep going that way. Get the goddamn checkpoint, you, you dumb asshole. So, I eventually, since I ran, I mostly, ran, I think I, did I fucking buy it? I don't, know. I don't know if I bought it. I think I rented it like twice. I just didn't really care for it. Also, the boxes were gone. The, the nitro crates are gone. What the hell is up with this game? I don't know. If I remember correctly, this just gets me to a shortcut, right? This doesn't take me anywhere specific. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that then. So, anyway, back with my storytelling. My favorite part of my Let's Plays. <laughs> kind of is, actually. It's part of it. Um, so... Yeah, I remember, like, buying the Game Boy version first. I, I'm pretty sure I bought the... I'm pretty sure I bought that one first. And I loved it. I loved the Game Boy version. I thought it was so good. And I still do to this day. Yeah, I know. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like it, but that's fine, you know. You like what you like, you don't what you don't like what you don't like. That's completely fine. Because think about it this way, there I, you know, this is gonna probably get me stabbed on a stake, but I don't like Dark Souls 3. Just saying. I also kind of don't really like Elden Ring that much either. I did at first, but nowadays I kind of just don't. I think Elden Ring's fine, but I think a lot of the bosses just kind of suck and are boring. But, I don't know. Not all of them. There's some pretty good ones. Like, Margaret at first was pretty neat. <coughs> yeah, sorry. I, my throat's getting dry. I need to drink something. First time I talked to a human in about, you know, the past few days... So my, my voice needs to come back. Oh, God, it's so goddamn dark. What the fuck? Uh, but yeah, I don't like Dark Souls 3. Um, I, I just find it kind of boring. I think, yeah, once you get to, like, the Borealis, whatever the hell it's called, it's all right. 
you know, dancer's all right. She's got a nice ass. I mean, look at that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't like 3. I think it's boring. I think, the, I think the level designs are just dog shit. But that's... Not dog shit. That's mean. I just don't like it. That's all. So I'll just leave it at, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to piss any more people off. If it makes you feel any better, I actually don't really like Dark Souls 2. But probably not in the way that... Well, I mean, actually, probably in the way that people don't like it for. I think it's okay, but... Man, is it just a pain in the ass to just go through, you know? You try to play it again, it just fucking makes me angry. And I know it's Dark Souls. Like, it's supposed to make you angry, silly goose. <coughs> God damn it. Sorry. Next episode, I'll try to have my throat prepared for it. It's just right now, like... Hold on, I'll meet my... There we go, okay. Sorry about that. Things happen. Also, it's fucking hot down here. God damn. I'm going to turn on the air next next episode as well, because that's going to happen pretty much right after this episode. So, yeah. Uh, I loved the Game Boy version of Crash of the Titans. I also loved the Game Boy version of Bionicle Heroes. And I never got to play the DS version of it until, like, a few years ago. And I have the DS version of it, and I love the DS version of it for Bionicle Heroes. And then for Crash of the Titans... DS. I also like it a lot. I actually genuinely think it's pretty good. It's actually a, a crazy enough, relatively okay crash game. You actually collect you you collect gems. Yeah, you you break boxes, and if you collect enough, if you collect a mojo amount, you also get a gem. And I think that's really cool. And crystals, like it just tries to be an actual crash game. So yeah, that probably just submitted my opinions right there for everybody. They're probably like, oh god. <laughs> But I, I like a lot of weird things, so, you know, it happens. And there's some things that, you know, are popular that I don't particularly like. And that's fine. I think, you know, you're, you're fine to like what you like and not like. Unless it's League of Legends, and you're pretty much just... If you like League, if you like League, that's... You're beyond help at that point. You can play Pokemon Unite. That game's actually good, but... You know, if you're playing League, then... You're fucking cringe. <laughs> You're cringe and you are not free. I think I deal with toxicity all the time. But, you know, that is what it is. Yeah, I gotta turn up the brightness next time because this is way too fucking dark. It's, and a bit spooky. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a little bit scared right now. Also, I don't think you can get all the... No, you can. It just has a death route because of course it goddamn does. I also like how the death route turns into like a knight. If you, I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but the the character on it turned into like a knight with a knight helmet. Speaking of Dark Souls, <laughs> you know that's my favorite type of feet though, too, because at least it gives it better taste. <laughs> oh fuck off! I died. Yeah, because like even when you fall down there, you know. It doesn't matter. You're basically stuck. I'm trying to avoid anybody because, uh, like I said before, if you if you die in the death route, you're pretty much fine. You just got to be careful that you don't die. Also, this section right here is terrible. You might not see it. It might be kind of hard to see, but there's those flame balls that are right there coming out from there, from that fireplace, and that's that's causing that to happen. Yeah, you gotta be real careful with this one. Speaking of lame, uh, I kind of do kind of want to play Hogwarts Legacy just a little bit. I don't know. Not for any political reasons. It's just more so like, I don't know, it just seems like it could be potentially fun for me to play. I don't know. Okay, so there's Green Gym. Fuck this level. Fuck, uh, well, no, this level's fine. But, you know, but fuck this area. Fuck the death route. Also, once you get the gym and you die, you're pretty much fine. You're allowed to have them for good. It's, it's, it's a Crash 2 thing. Because as we all know, and we're all probably familiar with at this point, Crash 1 does not allow you to keep your gems if you die. So, yeah. I remember thinking for some reason that this death route was actually not a death route, but it was a, like, colored gym route. And that, thankfully, was not the case. I'd rather not have to come back. 
I'm the type of guy that doesn't really necessarily like the backtracking aspect of Crash games, unless it's Crash 1. I feel like, in my opinion, Crash 1 does it pretty okay. Also, where the fuck is that last... What? What do you mean I'm missing a gem? I mean, uh, what do you mean I'm missing a box? So... Of all things, of all boxes... Also, did you notice the Komodo Joe in the background there? Yeah, right, right there. From 2, an engine. That's yeah, the same portrait, I think, also from the earlier games, too. What kind of fucking dog shit is... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Speaking of games that are actually coming out... Uh, well, Paper Mario is getting... Paper Mario 2, thankfully, is getting uh, remastered, which is nice. and saves me a ton of money. Um, second of all, the Tomb Raider trilogy on Switch? Like, what the fuck? That came out of nowhere. Like, I know we're getting Gex trilogy, but... The Tomb Raider trilogy? Like, hopefully they'll come on other consoles, too, but... Wow, like, okay, shit. Like, I like Tomb Raider a lot, but I don't like playing 2 and 3 very much because of PS1 controls piss me off. Tomb Raider 1's one thing, but Tomb Raider 2 and 3 annoy the shit out of me. Uh, so anyway, before we end off, I'm gonna go ahead and just save the game. And, yeah. Um, 10%, nice. Okay, so cool. We're already like a tenth of the way there. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for some more Crash Wrath of Cortex. And as always, take care everywhere. Take care everywhere? Take care everybody, and make sure you clean your underwear.